Hello everyone. Sorry I've been inactive for a while as I've started a new job and have far too many unfinished projects on my plate. I hope you are all been keeping safe given how eventful this year has been. Today's project was actually born from this video. Number 10, The Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim. This uh, to me is in first person combat. It's it's just hack and slash with a first person perspective. So when I did find it, I decided this would be a nice avenue to explore. So this was around May 4th and we all love Star Wars. We know how amazing a fighting with a lightsaber feels like. This was also around the time when Vader Immortal made the big announcement of uh, moving over to the PS4. So. I drew a lot of inspiration from VR since I think it's a brilliant concept of having melee combat in VR. While exploring I discovered this video and it had a publicly available repo. So uh, many thanks to the developer here. I'm also a huge fan of uh, truly skill based first person games like uh, Mordau and Chivalry. And I thought there was a lot of inspiration to draw from those games and also from other Star Wars games like Jedi Knight Academy about how a lightsaber should feel. I really wanted to step away from the animation based melee combat systems and explore something much more intimate and had a lot of breadth and variety in the amount of actions you could take. So I started exploring some concepts that were more suited to a one versus one situation like my favorite duel from Star Wars. <laughs> I really wanted to give the players a lot of agency by giving them variety not only in the attacks but in the stances they could take. So I tried this. Now the lightsaber felt like an extension of the controls and the hand rather than a set of animations you could just trigger with a button. After that I started making the attack animations. I wanted a very realistic depiction of how I imagined combat would be if lightsabers were real. But then I realized that the novelty of lightsabers is about the flashiness and it's not really very efficient but it is very cool looking. When we look at lightsabers in the movies, they look so weightless, but it's been mentioned many times that they're very heavy, especially when you look at the impact of a lightsaber on a lightsaber. I really wanted to imbibe that into the gameplay here. After a little spit and shine and adding a bit of juiciness to the gameplay, here's the result. <laughs> It's really amazing how little effort can contribute a lot to the feel of a game. Another thing I love about lightsabers is how that they are used as a defensive tool to deflect blaster shots. And that's exactly how they were introduced to us in the first movie. <laughs> Thank you. 
this tiny project is obviously not complete. Next, I would really love to tackle managing combat mode and locomotion mode intuitively. And then I would really love to add some actual hands. And if hands can be implemented, then adding force powers should be a necessity. You can check out the public repo if you wish to play around with the code a bit yourself. And as always, until next time.